What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with episode 51 of Room Tour Project, the series we show off the best setups. Now I want to thank you all for your patience the past few weeks, now there hasn't been a new episode in a while, it's because I've been in the middle of moving apartments, as well as building this setup behind me. So I apologize for that, but I hope you've been enjoying the whole building my new setup series I've been putting out. So. Apologize for keeping you guys waiting, and I hope you enjoy episode 51 of Room Tour Project after the two, three week hiatus. First is an unorthodox triple monitor setup that takes advantage of a 40 inch monitor in the middle with two vertical monitors on the side for some extra added screen real estate. In this case, I think it works out really great and looks especially nice with all that RGB backlighting. The center monitor, as I mentioned, is a 40 inch AMH monitor with two Dell 23 inch monitors on the side. On the desk, you'll find his RealForce 87U keyboard and the Logitech G602 mouse on an extended mouse pad. And as for his audio gear, he's rocking the Audio Engine A5 speakers, which are plugged into his new Force Icon amp and DAC. Now into the PC, which he does have on the ground, but you can see he has it on a piece of wood, which will kind of minimize the dust intake. But other than that, for his specs, he has an i5-3570K CPU, the EVGA 970 Superclocked in SLI, 16 gigs of RAM and an Intel SSD, plus some cable mod RGB lighting inside to enhance the visual aesthetics. Overall, I like to change up with the monitor orientation and that kind of purple and blue galactic theme I think looks really nice with this setup in particular. Next is a simple white and black theme that is right up my alley. 100% love this. And look at the changes he's made. It was a normal kind of bedroom setup. Now it is this badass, simple gaming setup that I think looks great. And taking a look at that polygonal vinyl over there on the wall, I think that really does a ton for this room. And when it comes to the gear on his desk, he's using a Dell UltraSharp 25 inch Quad HD 1440p monitor. His peripherals are the Logitech G610 keyboard with the Logitech MX Master mouse, pairing that with the Logitech Z623 speakers. And on the shelf above the setup, you can see a Dragon Ball Z collection. Then off to the side is a little dedicated workspace area, got some plants there, and it's all just kept very organized and tidy. Now of course with the white and black theme, you know they're rocking the NZXT H440 case in white, and inside is the Intel i7-4790K, which is being cooled by the Corsair H110i GT liquid cooler on an MSI SLI Crate Edition motherboard. 32 gigabytes of that white HyperX Fury RAM, an EVGA 980 Ti super clocked graphics card, and 500 gigs of the Samsung 850 Evo SSD. Altogether, a beautifully constructed white and black setup here. Loving the theme. I love the white accent light around the desk, and that vinyl on the wall just ties the whole setup together. Next is a solid gaming setup from top to bottom. Literally. This triple monitor setup consists of three ASUS VN247H panels surrounding him with nothing but pixels. On this beautifully wooden L-shaped desk, you'll find some of the peripherals like the Audio-Technica M40X headphones, great sound for a discounted price, you have the Corsair Vengeance K70 keyboard, the Razer Mamba 2016 mouse, on a SteelSeries mini mouse pad. And then above this setup, we have three gaming prints, maybe his favorite games right now. I don't know, but it does wonders for the setup. We have The Witcher 3, Overwatch, and The Division. Definitely looks nice here. Then underneath the desk into the PC, again, we have the NZXT H440 case in white. But we have the i5-4690K CPU on an MSI Z97 G43 motherboard, 8 gigs of Corsair Vengeance Pro Series RAM, and the GTX 970 Strix graphics card. Again, the triple monitor setup here is great, but I think what really ties this all together is those gaming prints, really adds some personality. And then here we got Julius hitting us with the 4 display setup here, the triple monitor on the bottom with a massive LG 49 inch 4K TV on top. Shit, he's definitely taking advantage of the space he has here and is cramming it to his best ability with tons of pixels. 
We have the overhead 49 inch 4K TV from LG and the bottom monitors are three 23.6 inch Samsung monitors. As for the peripherals, he's using the Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard with some white Vortex keycaps on them, the Corsair M65 RGB mouse in white, and we'll just take a second to appreciate the matching peripherals here, down to the keycaps, even the white uh, iPhone in the back and the Xbox One controllers, that's how you color coordinate. Off to the right is another little personal workstation for his laptop, and you can see the headphones are the Audio-Technica MPTX headphones in white. Now let's talk about the PC here and get into those specs. Inside he has an i7-4790K CPU on an MSI 970 Crate Edition motherboard, which is cooled by the Corsair H100i CPU cooler. We have another EVGA 970, very popular this episode. 500 gigabytes of a Samsung SSD, all inside the NZXT S340 case. So Julius here took us to the next level with this quad display setup here. RGB lights again around the desk, a nice white and black theme, Overwatch wallpapers. This is a gaming setup. Now Cosmo here is bringing us back to a more minimal approach, but it has all the necessities that's going to complete this hardcore gaming battle station. To visually get the most out of his experience, he's using the Acer Predator XB271HU monitor, a sick gaming monitor at that. For the peripherals, he has the Corsair Strafe RGB keyboard with those Cherry MX silent switches inside. I'm a fan of those as well. He has the Logitech G602 wireless gaming mouse, and for his audio, he's using the Corsair Void wireless headset. Now, when it comes to a sexy build, Cosmo here is taking the cake because inside of the Fantex Enthu Evolve case, which has that nice tempered glass, this just, oh, it looks so nice. He has the Intel i5 6600K CPU, cooled by the Corsair H100i V2 liquid cooler, 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM, and an EVGA GTX 1080 graphics card, as well as another Samsung SSD inside. And of course, what makes this pop are those purplish pink LEDs on the inside. Such a nice case. Altogether, at its roots, it's not too fancy, it's not overbearing, it's minimalistic, and it is just, hands down, a great gaming setup. Do you guys like wall-mounted PCs? How about LED lights around a visually cable setup? Do you like Game of Thrones? Then this setup is awesome. Literally, what more could you ask for? He's even got some sconces on the wall, and I like me some sconces. <laughs> I need to go to bed. Now taking a look at some of the hardware, we have another AMH 40 inch 4K monitor there mounted very nicely with some LED lights on the desk. For the peripherals, he's using the Razer Deathstalker Ultimate Elite keyboard with both the Logitech MK710 wireless mouse along with the Razer Death Adder uh, gaming mouse as well on an extended Razer mouse pad along with the JBL 5.1 surround sound system for his audio. Now we'll take a look at that wall-mounted PC in that Leon Lee PC06S micro case. It looks very nice, it is all water-cooled, and is just a crazy looking build. He has an i7-6700K CPU on an Asus Maximus Gene motherboard. Of course, the 980Ti being water-cooled as well. 16 gigs of DDR4 RAM, a Samsung 950 Pro M.2 SSD, tons of EK water cooling components here. I don't even know. This is just fucking awesome. Altogether, this one is highly memorable. I love almost everything here. It just looks really cool. But guess what? He actually has an updated photo without the Game of Thrones paraphernalia. And I have to say, very sleek and modern. Definitely still loving this, and I have a feeling it's going to be a fan favorite. All right, guys, that'll do it for episode 51 of Room Tour Project. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, check the description for everything listed in this episode. So if you saw a keyboard, a pair of headphones you liked, odds are it'll be listed down below for you to check it out. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP, for channel sneak peeks and stuff like that. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss out on the tech reviews I have coming up to the channel more uh, inputs on the building the insane gaming setup series as well as any future episodes of room tour project well i'm random frank p hope you enjoyed episode 51 have a good day